Well, good morning, everyone. Colleagues, thank you so much for being here this morning. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we uh, sometimes uh, save uh, the best or the sometimes the most important for, uh, for last, and this is one of those uh, examples. Um, COVID-19, other outbreaks of disease like uh, the MPOX outbreak that we're currently facing, show us why health security is national security. Diplomacy is one of the essential tools for trying to mobilize political will, uh, to raise awareness, to unlock and unblock obstacles that get in the way of the collaboration necessary to deal with the outbreak of disease and its spread. Uh, this foreign ministry channel for global health security was launched in March as a, a forum for all of our foreign ministries to work to proactively communicate, uh, to share information, to coordinate efforts to strengthen global health security. So I simply wanted to start by thanking everyone for your partnership in this endeavor, for your recognition that we um, all have a role to play when it comes to dealing with improving the health of our populations, both in our own countries and, uh, and around the world. And with this channel that we've established together, I look forward to robust conversations about how we can further collaborate, how we can further use uh, our shared knowledge, insights, resources uh, to combat uh, and mobilize as necessary the uh, international community when it comes to global health, when it comes to prevention, when it comes to responses. Uh, and these partnerships are absolutely critical. Uh, it's also important that um, we continue the work of doing um, work with critical multilateral funds like uh, the pandemic fund. So simply put, today's an opportunity, an opportunity to lay more groundwork for future collaboration. I think we all know from the COVID experience how essential that is, and I'm grateful for everyone's participation today. Thank you.